This is something from Volkswagen Auto Group, so stay tuned. Porsche has announced that they will be doing something very interesting. And this might not be so interesting to you guys who are pro-electric cars. Again, I am not against electric cars. I think they will be a great part of the future, but they are definitely not for everyone. Porsche has announced that they will have a zero emissions ICE engine. In fact, I think they've been working on this for a while. Since a company called Sunfire came out with a product I've been talking about since probably within a month of, of it actually being announced, called Blue Crude. I used to put it in comments. I put it in several videos. I've been talking about it for several years now. Blue Crude is made with a is made by I think it's Sunfire Company. I don't know. It started with Volkswagen Auto Group, then it started with Audi, then it went to I don't know. It's been divided up. The whole diesel gate kind of screwed that whole thing up. Actually, put them years behind. So that was lovely that they did that. You know, the whole suit thing and everything else. And government's got all this money, but it put the actual thing that they were trying to do behind a little bit further. Taking, it might be taking a little bit longer for Volkswagen to develop this because of that diesel gate issue. So Blue Crude is basically a diesel fuel, synthetic crude oil that they can use to make diesel fuel. And apparently they've been working with this a little bit more and they figured out how to make uh, other fuels. And I don't know if they've been able to make one for internal combustion engine or if it's still just diesel and that's you know how it works or if it's for gasoline or whatever but it's basically a fuel it's made with water and air and electric power and the electric power that they're using is a hundred percent solar so they have these solar buildings it's this whole facility that's run on solar that they use and they make a synthetic diesel the synthetic diesel can be added to regular diesel fuel so you can have regular diesel fuel and half synthetic in there and it runs the same now i don't know exactly they haven't announced all this stuff yet but it might be available to make gasoline as well pretty interesting and again i've been talking about this since i first read the entire entire thing about it i read a very long article on how it works and everything and I always thought this was the future. And you know what? It just might be. Now, the things I don't know is will it run on these old cars? And there's a good possibility that they're going to have it. So that they're going to figure that out. And will it make them run cleaner? It's a good possibility. And, and, and I've been talking about this for a very long time. been reading about it and trying to stay up on it as much as I can. Because I think it's the future. And you guys have thought, we're going to punish that Volkswagen company for making these emissions B vehicles might have been wrong because they've had this going on in the background for a long time and you know they of course they're just not going to say anything they announced that they had this type of a diesel fuel uh, it was done through Audi first like I said uh, and then it's moved to Porsche now so I don't know exactly where it's going but I just know it's Volkswagen Auto Group they own a lot of car companies and it could make a huge difference if you're looking for a green alternative or if you're not it doesn't matter I think all everybody out there let me just survey make a comment would you like cleaner air I think wouldn't everybody like clean air like that nice clean air I think everybody would but we also want our internal combustion engines. How about the best of both worlds? Internal combustion engine, zero emissions. It's being worked on right now with Porsche. There's a lot of videos out on this. Uh, and if you look around, you can find them. A lot of people are saying it's gonna wipe out the electric thing. I think that's not really true either. I think that there's gonna be a lot of people with electric cars and they're going to use those to commute back and forth to work and i think they've always said that they are a great thing for commuters they're just not good for long range they are not good for pickup trucks carrying weight and ladders and all this stuff because they're based on efficiency they're just not working out for those things 
and Germany finally caved. And this summer, they were going all electric. They were announcing they're going all electric all this time. All of a sudden, I heard this first. I heard electric and they allow synthetic fuels. Hmm. Maybe somebody's been lobbying uh, the people, the government over there from VAG and finally got some headway. And uh, now they're going to pursue allowing things like this to run on a synthetic fuel that's clean. I knew it could be done. And they're going to do it. So share your thoughts on all that stuff, guys. When I first heard about Blue Crude, uh, it did not say that it was a super clean fuel. But I know that if it was made with water and air, that it probably was, and it is. So, they're starting to figure out more on it. The thing that I didn't know, and uh, that we're finding out now, that they're making a facility that's going to make a large volume of fuel. And that's the thing that I was wondering about. Is it possibly sustainable to make it in large volumes? And apparently, it must be, because they are moving this direction i've heard that there's enough oil under under the ground in just the u.s for it to go for the next 300 years to run on these old cars um but it would be nice if we had something cleaner right couldn't hurt now you won't see this term blue crude much anymore i don't know if that got quashed or whatever but they're just calling it plain synthetic diesel now so if you can look at synthetic diesel sunfire technology uh, read a little bit about it and find out that it is a new alternative and in order to get the proper amount of range on a car the only way to really do it is to get something that's a liquid fuel that has a much better density of it you can get more out of it than you can electric power electric power is hard to store in a, a large volume enough to be able to uh, propel a car for more than like 250, 300 miles. Um, and those ranges that you see are based on one person occupant in the car, no weight, everything's based on efficiency. Where these new synthetic fuels, guess what the range is? Just take a guess. You're wrong, 1,100 miles. 1,100 miles per tank. Wouldn't you like a car that went 1,100 miles per tank and all you got to do is go to a gas station and fill it back up with fuel again? Go another 1,100 miles? Don't you think that might be a little bit better than going to your charging station and driving around, sitting there for 45 minutes while you're drinking your coffee or whatever, doing your paperwork or I don't know what you do about those things or walk around the car 10 times in this, you know, 105 degree weather in the summer, you know whatever that you do during that time and you could just fill your tank up and go another 1100 miles that's the future that i think has some merit that's something that to me gets me excited tell me in the comments what you think especially now that they said it will be in a zero emissions engine. They're working on a zero emissions engine, even if they get close. So a lot of people say, well, if we changed everything to electric, we'd have no emissions. Wrong. Because if we took, let's say we said tomorrow, let's say that they could just do this overnight and you took every car off the road that was gasoline or diesel or whatever, and you said we can manufacture overnight and have everybody in electric vehicle tomorrow. The problem with that is those manufacturing emissions are much higher than making one of these. And all we would do is immediately pollute the whole earth. Would that be good for the earth if you're really a green person? Would that be good? The thing is, no, it wouldn't, you know that. So if you can transition over time, now you're getting these, these vehicles a chance to wear out. Okay, and you can transition to whatever the new thing is, if it's blue crude or if it's uh, electric power, whatever, for your vehicle. You're giving these, you're not putting 
all those emissions in the earth at the same time. You're not running out and getting every child to go out and dig ditches to get the 500 tons or whatever, 500,000 tons of dirt moved to get one car battery made. You know, you're not dealing with that issue. And again, like I said, I think that's a part of the future. I think there'll be some people with electric cars but we have a limited supply of, of, of lithium and stuff like that. And you're going to have some people with for short range, for going to the grocery getter and going to the commuting and all that stuff could be an electric car. But all your longer range will transition into these other ones. And maybe eventually the ice will win. The ice will be the king again. And, you know, over time, we just won't know. So you get the best of both worlds, zero emissions and internal combustion. And you can have your electric car again for just commuting, driving around town. So the party be in the future. I'm just gonna say what I think, and this is my opinion, I'll, you know, whatever, is people eventually, as your cars wear out, whatever, over time, you'll have one commuter car, which might be electric, and you'll have another car that's a long range vehicle. Your pickup trucks will probably be running on this new fuel. And it's pretty exciting to see that new alternatives are coming because a lot of people are saying, well, hydrogen power is kind of the future. Well, the hydrogen electric thing is kind of messed up because the good thing about it, you know, it's great because it gives you liquid fuel. You can get more range, you can fill up right away. And go more range further well, the problem with it is is the precious metals that it takes to uh, transfer the energy from the liquid fuel to the electric power and you know it's just a lot of precious metals the same thing with lithium and the other things in the batteries it, it takes a lot of earth to move to make them it takes you know the hazardous part of it the fires when they do happen, which is very rare, again, uh, they're very environmental hazard. They're a big environmental hazard. Um, they So when one's burning on the road, you know, it's not like a regular ice fire, which the road's going to be shut down for, you know, 20 minutes or whatever. It might be shut down for three hours, and you got fire crews all tied up with that issue going on as the population of them grows you won't have to worry as much about that again people are going they're trying to compare apples to oranges you know i'm talking about if you took this let's say you had a five years a five-year aged ice cars and you had a five-year aged electric cars okay the newer cars catch fire less so it with ice okay the most of the ones you see burning on the side of the road are very old cars it usually had issues. It's not newer vehicles usually. There's some, but very, very few. Just like the electric car, there's very, very few. But the environmental hazard of it in the long term, who really knows what it's going to be when you're 10 times as many on the road? And you're going to have to increase our fire crews. Um, are we going to have to find ways to move them off the side of the, away from the road to, so we don't have to have the road shut down for four hours? Or are they going to catch fire in your garage and bring your whole house, house down because you're charging or, or whatever? You know, there's just a whole bunch of what ifs. We don't know. It's the future. You can't really say what it's going to be. You can't really say what it isn't going to be. We don't know. All we do know is this new fuel has some promise. And it solves both sides of the political spectrum. You got the people who want to change the earth or whatever and want to make things better and there's nothing wrong with making things better okay and you got the people that are i want their ice car you know internal combustion engine car you get both you can have both so that's the exciting part and uh i just wanted to share this with you guys hope you guys like the video and uh leave your comments talk to you in the next one please like share and subscribe